I worked at IMAX for 17 years there and I learned how to do like insane Photoshop stuff. About over a year ago now, I would just be on Instagram and I would see people posting these insane pictures and I'd be like, what is this? So I became um, a creative partner with Runway. and But it doesn't happen to much, you know, it's yeah. rare that it happens. So I felt really lucky. Um, there's like all these different motion presets. This one's moving in and out. <laughs> like Premiere or, um, or what is that? Cap Cut. Oh, I'm Cap on my Cut. Phone and just oh, Cap yeah. Cut. Yeah. That cuts good. Yeah. I, I was look. I was doing, I looked at a comparison between that and After Effects and I was like, Ooh, After Effects hasn't really updated much of the interface for a while. Well, so After Effects is a little different cause you would use that for like, um, creating, um, I don't know, temp, like, I don't even know what you call it, like special effects type stuff. Compositing, Premiere yeah. Pro is the one that I use. And then uh, per, app, Adobe offers for, on the phone, what is it called? Oh, Premiere Rush, which is your is the uh, phone equivalent to um, CapCut. Um, and I tend to like CapCut better. It's funny because I'm a big Adobe person, but I like CapCut the way it works better. Oh yeah, why is why is that? When you, it seems like After Effects and Premiere Pro have so many more things that you can do. Um, I make a lot of my videos on my cell phone. Ah. I sit like once I'm done working for the day, I you know like I'll go sit and watch TV in the evenings, and that's where I'm creating my videos. I don't really have time to do it during the day, so um, it's just that app works really well on the phone, right. and uh, I don't know. That's just what I do. That's my process. I, I usually use mid journey. I've been playing around with playground playground gave me access to their app. Um, oh, I've not heard of that one. What's that? Playground AI. It's, um, it's an image creation app, but it's, a, it, I love their, um, interface. It's, uh, it's a really cool, um, kind of, it works better on a computer. I mean, it works okay on the phone, but I like how it works on a computer, but I've used it in some work stuff where you can actually take an existing image that's like needs to be blown up or something. You can dump it in playground and you can tell it to copy that a hundred percent and it'll spit out the same image, but then you can upscale it from there. And it does better. Sometimes it's better than just upscaling the old image. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, it does some things that no other apps do that, you know, like other, I don't know any of the other apps that will copy a picture almost identical you know like if you put a picture in mid journey it won't copy it all right but yeah it'll copy it but it'll copy it in a higher res you know mm. and sometimes like if you just upscale a low res image it still doesn't look good but anyway but playground also gives you the Im every single app i think the images look completely different like playground or um lens go or mid journey or wonder all these apps they all spit out something a little bit different so they all have their own little vibe kind of mm. like i don't think there's anything that else that looks like mid journey mm. Mm. and yeah. my playground does kind of like fun uh i've been using that for some of my like kind of colored contrasty images they look really good ah okay so so with with your account being so large like um how many messages are you getting a day like oh my god i can't even keep up with it it's i'm so behind in reading messages and not only is there's a message box there's like a people waiting to get into your message box and sometimes i'll sit there for hours i still can't get through it all and i feel really bad but i just don't i don't have the time to go through that it's i just didn't i forgot it was, that would be part of it i mean this all happened kind of by accident you know i posted that bird video one day i was I just made this bird video one morning on a Sunday morning, I think it was. And, and it was just like, I was making birds that kind of didn't exist. You know, I'd say like make a bird that sort of looks like a giraffe or different, whatever I was saying, all these different birds, put that video together, posted it, went out to breakfast, came home and it had a million views. I was like, what just happened? Whoa. For some reason that took off and now it's over 24 million. What the? And so I had, <laughs> Oh my yeah, god. So that's how I got the 300,000. So all of a sudden people were following me like crazy. Oh my and god. so from that video is how my um my account got to this point. Yeah, so that's the bird video that first one there that on the one. left that yeah. 
yeah wow 23 million <laughs> views there guys so just just talk talk us through that one because we were just talking off camera a second ago oh well one morning i just was i just i'm a big bird lover i like feed the birds i love birds i'm kind of obsessed and so i just was trying to make birds that didn't exist in real life and so i was in mid journey just playing around kind of uh just like trying to get these wacky birds and so then i animated them posted this video i did it on a sunday morning and i went out to breakfast i came home and it already had a million views in like an hour so i was like what happened? Oh, my headphones just go. Yeah. You there? Wow. My headphones died. So what um, about? So anyway, I. Yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So what? What about? about what? So does it show? Uh, okay, five point six mil. So that'll probably be the next one after that. Then that's got the most views. Is it the pinned one? Yeah, I did a second follow video, and then that one, it's just different birds. This is really good, actually. I don't think I've seen it like this before. I thought I'd done enough runway to see something like this so far. <laughs> yeah, so now it's like I I see people have stolen these bird videos and like, oh. try to put it out themselves. And there's other people that put it out and they have millions yeah. of views on it. And they don't tag me, which is sort of a bummer. But what are you going to do? You just got to let it go. You know? Yeah. There's so much copyright infringement. I saw I saw a guy's work on LinkedIn. He's like one of my connections. And I just saw his work overlaid with a blending mode in someone else's video. And I'm like, I know that guy's work. That's not his channel. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I noticed it's happened to everyone. But you, there, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't fight them all. Exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. This one monk video there on the left, that was done um, with text to text to video on runway. Right. So like, oh, let me just, uh... ah, you don't have a website or anything there. Is there any reason for that? Well, my website is more my graphic design stuff. It's like, I use it for work stuff really. Um, it has like my, you know, my print layout stuff and the sports graphics and stuff I create. So I have to make an AI site, but I've been mostly just posting on here because this is where all my followers are. Mm, and lately, yeah. you know, sometimes if I make a long video, you can only do like a minute and a half music. So if I have like a two minute video, I've been making like uh, Suno and Udi, Udio songs and some of them are pretty insane. So people have been asking me, hey, do you have Spotify? And I'm like, no, but I did now take a lot of these AI songs and I've been putting them on Spotify. <laughs> oh, wow. What, you, what, cool. your, what your what you listens like on Spotify? I just, they just went up today. Oh, yeah. Well, well, so oh, oh okay. Out. Okay. We've got to wait a while then. It's, it's, yeah. It's not the end of the day yet. Hmm. I have a couple other that have gotten into the millions too. This is just like people with weird heads, AI headsets. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what, what features are you using the most uh, in mid-journey at the moment then? Like, which commands do you use a lot? Um, that, this one on the left with the dancer is LensGo. This one here. That one. Yeah. I mean, I had to manipulate it a lot in... Um, in premiere and then after effects to get that see-through kind of thing and then i used an image to get it so it took a while to get that but um lens go is what i used for that anyway what were you say you said um i was just wondering um what commands do you use in in mid journey like um what's your experimentation you like that prompts yeah prompts or image prompts or like c ref or s ref oh i i did i did a when c ref first came out i did one with a um to try to do a character reference i haven't used it a lot but i did a video on it came, it worked really well mm. um i use the chaos feature a lot and what's, um, what's that okay oh, oh chaos right yeah yeah sorry yeah like the higher you go like 10 to 100 or whatever it really changes the image a lot and this one on the right at the bottom that is um is uh what do you call it uh in mid journey when you do um why can't i think of the name of it let me look it up um 
symptoms, my, here I go. Settings. Oh, um, we, we could probably go. Niji, I'm sorry, Niji. Oh, Niji. Oh, that's, that's the one. Yeah, I, I know that one. Um, so what I do is I like I take a prompt and I'll put it in Niji and then it makes these cool animations and then I'll have I'll tell it to make it like photorealistic and then it makes them kind of 3D so it does this really cool effect where they're like flat but yet 3D kind of. Oh yeah, like a like a cartoon effect or yeah or flat mm -hmm. flat design I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that other bird one there got a million three. That was like a the third in the series on the top to go up a little. Oh, right wow. So did you start off a trend then with, with animal videos like this? With bird videos, yes. A lot of people doing bird videos now uh, on the internet, on the TikTok or, and Instagram. I see it. Yeah, yeah. I just must have done it first or something or just, I don't know what happened. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you do see some like huge accounts with like mm -hmm. one technique on Instagram, like, and uh, they must have had I a can't shit. take off on Instagram. I don't know what it is. That's why I eventually moved to TikTok because I was like posting on Instagram and I had like, I just couldn't get followers. And a lot of my friends were getting more followers. And I'm like, I'm going to post on TikTok to see what happened. And it took off real fast. I got like 50,000 followers pretty quick. But then that this once that one took off, then I got, went up to the 300K. But I feel like people on TikTok like it more or something. So, so, so when you say 50k fast, like how, 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 what's fast for you? Three months? Four well, months? I started putting them on um, TikTok in like October, I think, and then um, by January, I think I was around fifty thousand. Wow! Wow! That's all it takes, folks, is just one video, one creative spark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't happen to much, you know, it's yeah. rare that it happens. So I felt really lucky. That was the car commercial that I was talking about right there where I, um, some of them are, oh. this is all um, text to video. Yeah. That's mid journey. Oh. Anything with the people yeah. is mid journey, but then um, that's text to video. Yeah. Mid journey. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. When did you do this one? 29th to the third. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, wow. back in March. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So all those driving shots are just text to video text to video. Yeah. Yeah, these are really good. Whoa. Look at that shot. I mean, yeah. that's insane, right? Yeah. Do you do do you do any other applications like 3D? You mean like uh, Blender, Cine 4D? No, I want to learn all that. I mean, I play around with um, Deforum sometimes, Stable Diffusion, but I, Def um, Deforum, what's that? Deforum is the one. It's where you it just sort of morphs your um, images. Deforum, just go to Deforum. No, go back to this. It's just. Um, Deforum.com, I think. Deforum.studio. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And you just kind of can pay for minutes, and it's that thing where it kind of, um, it like blend, morphs your images into, um, like if you click on one of them, you'll see, and it, there's different things that you can do to it. You could make a move in different ways. Well, that one's kind of boring. Oh yeah. Maybe do like that one with all the animals or something. Oh, that's how you're doing that. Ah, oh, I've seen this a few times on TikTok in the last couple of days. Oh yeah, it's so it's not even hard to use. What you do is you type in a prompt. You can use a picture or not use a picture, and then you select your prompt style, which is like, do you want it realistic or cartoony or whatever? And then 